Okay, so sometimes you have images that are not as simple and, and you want to be able to get the backgrounds out of them. I'm going to start with the first one that has straight edges on it. I'm going to show you kind of what I do. So I'm going to say File Open. Oops, I'm in the wrong photo here. I'll say File Open. And I, this time I'm going to do, uh, there's a paperclip holder here that I shot a video photo of. So here's this paperclip holder and it has nothing but straight edges. So how would you get rid of this background? Well, it's not going to be as simple as using a magic wand or anything. There are different kinds of tools we can use for this. Uh, I, I've tried using this little tool here before, which is beside the, it's the magic wand. It's a quick selection tool. Sometimes it works for things like this, but the way I typically end up doing it is I will go and get this tool here, the pen tool. And so we're going to do a little bit of a tutorial on how this works because if you've not used what's called Bezier curves, we're not going to need them for this one because we have square edges. But if, it's, it's awesome to be able to use this tool. You get these excellent straight edges and you get very good quality from this. So I am going to click, at, you know, what I've done, I've clicked the pen tool and I've zoomed in by using the, the, uh, the glass here. It's like it's where I can see this thing really well. Click back to the pen tool again here. And I'm going to click so that I'm right just inside the fringe of this. I want to be actually where it's a hard edge there. I don't want to get right on the blur. I'm going to click here. I'm going to just click one time and pull down here to a point where, there you go. I've got a, um, a, you know, I've got, I've got a straight line there. You can, can't even see it now, but it's there. I'm going to go to here and click my next point. And to here and click my next point. Here the next one. Here the next one. Now I'm going to go over here onto the bar and I'm going to pull up so I can see what I'm, what I'm doing here. Go to here and to here and here. You see what I'm doing? It's getting very refined there. It doesn't take a long time to do this, especially if you've got lots of nice straight edges, right? So I'm going to go up here. And it does blur a little bit off in the distance here, but for what we're doing, just to isolate this image here, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now there is a slight curve here, but I'm going to, since we don't have to be in super tight, I'm going to fake that a little bit. and. And uh, we'll do a curve, a Bezier curve on the next, uh, the next tutorial. So real quickly, I've drawn a line around this, right? So you can barely even see it. It's, you, you barely even know it's there. But so what am I going to do? Well, it is a path. What I've created with this, with it, what you do with these pen tools, we create paths. So it is a path. And I go here and look. Here is my work path. Now I can go over here and I can say make selection. You can't see it because it's off the screen, but there's a thing right here. I wish I had this where it would pull back over the other way. It says make selection. So I'm pulling down to a thing. It's off the screen. It says make selection. And I'm going to tell it to feather none. I don't think I need to. I don't know that I need to. It is anti-alias. That means it's not super hard. It puts just a tiny little bit of a fringe around it. And I'm going to say, okay, it's just a little softer. And now I've actually, if I go back to layers here, you'll see I actually, well, it's not showing it, but I have, this is selected. It is selected. It turned the it turned it into little moving lines here, which means I've made a selection. Now I'm going to do a Command C, Command C, or Control C on your PC, and I have copied that. Now I'm going to do con Command V or Control V, and that's a paste. And now if I turn this off, this background off, look what I've got. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a Command Zero to fill the screen up there. So there we have it. And there's no background at all behind this. Now, if I want to throw this one away, I can just drag it down here to the trash, or I could have actually clicked on it and then hit the trash button. It would delete it. Now, to test this, I want to put it up against a background. I can do this. I can say, um, I can go here and make a new, uh, again, a new layer and pull it behind this one. And I can say, edit, fill with a color. And again, we'll be able to see that I've got a pretty clean, uh, you know, border on that. Now, right here, I can see a little bit of fringe, and you see, you see why it was important to get all of that. Now, if you want to soften this, there's, there's a way I could soften this. A lot of times, if I see this and it's just barely there, then I will get the eraser tool. So, right here is the eraser tool. At least I trust that it is. Sometimes they change these just a little bit. They've changed the look of that one recently. And since I know I've just got to get rid of a pixel or two, I'm gonna. Since I've clicked on the, what I did here, I got the eraser tool. And I clicked on this thing right here, which allows me to change the size. And I'm going to take this down to about, gee whiz, probably not even three pixels, four pixels maybe. And I may be a little bit bigger than that. I have got a lot of pixels in this, so I'll go to nine. And what I can do, I can click right there. Uh oh, Command Z. I'm on the wrong layer again. I'm going to go to this layer. This layer has it on there. 
if I want to get rid of that little fringe, I'm going to get right there on the edge of it and click one time. Then I'm going to hold my shift key down and go down here and I'm going to do that and it gets rid of that, see? Now I might just take this and just rub it a little bit right there like that. And here's another little edge. I can click there. I can go up here, same kind of thing, holding the shift key down and get rid of that. Look at that. Nice and clean. I see I've got a little bit of an edge here. Click there. I can go up here to a certain point, hold the shift key down. And it runs that whole eraser thing right at the edge there like that. You can go up here and do the same thing again. Once again, I'm holding the shift key down. So I'm going to go here and I see I've got a little bit right to there. That's not bad at all. That might be all that it needs. If I want to round that off just a little, maybe just do a fuzz there. Now, without explaining this, I could have done this a lot faster. You know, I could have done this in just a minute. So that's another simple one. I'm going to do a Command-0 again to see it. At least I think we will. Command-0. They're not letting me do it. Okay, i got to go back to selection, I guess. Command-0. There we go. And now what I have, if I want to drag this around, I get the, the uh, what is it called, selection tool, move tool, actually. And you see, I can set it anywhere on here. It doesn't matter what background I've got. I can move that, and I can have a uh, pretty well isolated image. That's how to do it straight with straight edges using the pen tool. Let's move on to some Bezier curves in the next video.